Hey everybody, it's Dre from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. And today's video, obviously, we're looking at an aux locker. This is a Dana 30 27 spline for 3.73 and up gears. And we're gonna have a first look and first impression of it. I got this complete with cable and shifter for 972. Shipping was free, so it's a pretty good buy. Everything all comes pre-packaged neatly in the box. And I just had a quick look at the instructions. I'll show you guys those in a bit, but they look all right. That's the manual cable shifter. That's the cable in the big box, believe it or not. And that's the locker. Let's crack this shit open. All right, so here we got our differential cover. It's very well made. Here's our cable. I went with uh, 78, I believe it is. That what was recommended for TJ. So hopefully that's the right length, otherwise I'll have to make it work somehow. I'm gonna flip this over. There's your shift fork right there. Looks like it's very good quality. Someone said that, uh, someone in one of my videos said they had an aux locker and they cracked the cover. That's a pretty solid cover. Not sure how you'd crack it unless you smashed it and stuff. But anyways, I'm not denying anything. Let's go have a look at the actual locker itself. Here's a quick look at the shifter. Always be careful because I went to go piss around with it and lock it and then there's a spring in there and shot the plastic end out and this other little piece so hopefully there wasn't something else that might have went missing but anyways this is the year manual locker it's very nice. Here's the locker here and you can tell that's very good quality. The machining's really nice. Every bolt has a locking tab on it prevent those bolts from backing out when you're out and about. It's got alignment marks already on it in case you have to move the slots for your different bolts or whatever for your uh, aftermarket gears. There's a little closer view. Like the construction's very nice. Here's your where your shift forks are gonna go on this little ring right here to lock it, unlock it. It's gonna be pretty good. I'm actually getting pretty pumped to start working on this and get it installed. I just kind of quickly went over the instruction booklet here and it's got your settings from your old carrier to your new one to kind of get it close and then like your bearing install like sometimes you might have to put your shims on top of your bearings where this one here shows it in between the barrier and the carrier and it talks about uh, your alignment marks and if you have to shift your carrier and that kind of stuff. It says like press on bearings and uh, in case if you ever have to take it apart whatever else it's a very good book it's actually um, hopefully it'll be really good once I start working on it and we um, see just how easy this is gonna be to install and troubleshooting what bearings to use you know clearance issues housing clearance all that stuff so in my final comments I'm very impressed with the aux locker it's um, looks like it's very well made the real test will come when we install it and see how well it works after it's installed but uh, majority of times if it's something's gonna fail it's usually installation problems so hopefully uh, we don't have any issues doing the alignment of the gears and everything else. So I'm going to end my video with this. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.